<laughs> Are you okay? I spoke without thinking. Those were some hostile thoughts. Or words. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. Well, it, it, it was... It was a statement of fact. I feel like a water pitcher is, in fact, not a two-person job. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, you... You shut up! You're just being weak-willed. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also going to... She wasn't... Did she? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's also not her head for Monica to judge people like that. She wasn't really judging... As the person in charge, she should keep track of where her club members are. No. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because he is, in fact, stupid. Nothing about you, nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Well, yeah, but, you know. <laughs> it wouldn't have been that hard to say, hey, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> we have emotions and we can't always hide them away, but you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns light rain shower into a hur turns the light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah, no, no. Would you hate me for something as terrible? Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? A friend, you say? Ah, ah, ooh, ooh. She lifts her head. I really like being friends with you. Ah ha ha. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to help her feel better. Anyway. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Sorry, there's some weird noises coming from outside. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. Er, oolong. I think I forgot to pronounce the end there. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Ah! Sorry, my hand itched. Even if I'm not an expert on tea, hue hue. Uh oh, she's making the noises that the spider lady in Undertale did. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, ah perhaps I will! Exclamation point. She fetches the teapot and begins measuring the. Tea levels. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. I'm just imagining the way Link hums in Breath of the Wild when he's cooking. <clears throat> Excuse me. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. What, was that a test? I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided that I should try expressing myself a little bit more. Oh, good for you. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Duh. Okay. That's great. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me. We've known each other for like three days. How have we... Uh, it's very endearing. That's... She wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch her pour a cup of tea for each of us. 
I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why do we do... <laughs> but, well, if these chairs are attached to the desks, then maybe the floor would be more comfortable. But I can't really... My school had that, and it was not fun. Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back straight against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Connecting the dots. Your posture, right? <laughs> nice save. Always hunched over while reading like that. Yes. <laughs> I have terrible reading posture. <laughs> oh, that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I'll retrieve the book from... I was expecting someone else to cut it off rather than the player character come up with an excuse. Ah, might have some... I'm, ah, I have some chocolate as well. A small bag it's a small bag of chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I'll take it I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync we assume re read I suck at reading things out loud, let me tell you. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time. Our bodies are even closer to each other. Of course they are. Why don't you just lean forward? Or I mean like, lean. Or like, lay down. Stomach first, or stomach down on the floor. She can't see too well, slides until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? look at the book and, you know, read the words, eventually put together the sentences. Kinda cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Ugh, your teacup. She hands me my teacup. <laughs> holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Of course. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a, th a th single thing. She wears her intent reading expression. I can only presume the world around her is fading away. I use all of my willpower to focus on the reading, as you should be. This book sounds interesting. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacups between my legs and... Fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. She hates chocolate. That's a deal breaker. Well, if I touched it, I might get smudges on the pages. Good call. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Kind of weird... Jigsaw puzzle pieces are we going to be putting together with how we're going to be reading the book now, huh? Are you sure? Of course. Opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting atop of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. Take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Mmm, delicious. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this image is really funny. Just the, the same exact expression is... Mm. It really is like something I would imagine seeing like right out of an anime. 
Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh. Her ex expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Looks at me as if she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something friends that friends do. I have never once in my life fed one of my friends a piece of chocolate while they're busy reading a book. Not really in this kind of context, but yeah. That's all it was. Then, you don't need to stop or anything. I see. This, this is really weird. The situation has gotten really tense. Mary tries to return to the book. I can tell but just by her expert. I just... It is... It is a wonderful stroke of luck that the other three don't pay attention during this to watch them all be awkward and such. Together, my heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. I swear to God, if they both try to eat the same... You know, I'm just gonna let it... How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Ah. Like before, she parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, Monica. Gah. All two pages of progress on that book. The bruh. Ah! Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. You can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. <laughs> God. Get some decorum back in this club room. <laughs> I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. Teenagers. Am I right? I get the feeling that neither of us will have the courage to bring it up. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, we're gonna go in opposite order. Actually, I wonder. Nah, I'm just gonna go in the reverse order of the last time. Sayori first. Ooh, I like this one. It has some nice feelings in it. Ah, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. I mean, really, with something as subjective as that, you can't really... That's why I just go by my heart. It makes me feel things... If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. Yeah? I'm not exactly sure that's how it works, unless it's like a fear feeling of like severe irritation, then, or boredom, maybe. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't know what kind of writing you'd like in the first place. I don't know, probably sunshine and rainbows and positive stuff. Well, well, with this being... With that warning at the beginning of the game, I have to assume her being sunshine and rainbows on the outside probably isn't all there is to her. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Yeah. Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. 
Hey, she is perfectly self-sufficient. Did you see the way that she... You, a, a little while ago, she totally got herself a free cookie. And a bite of someone else's. With zero retaliation. <laughs> I guess I like happy poems. There you go. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? Bittersweet? There you go. You found it all on your own. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you like something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can give <laughs> help give the rain cloud a little hug. <laughs> nice. And make a nice happy rainbow. <laughs> Okay, this game is well written. I'll give it that. <laughs> that. That made me say, Ray, that's unexpectedly poetic. It is. Maybe I'm getting better with expressing my feelings after all. Thanks. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. Alright, so... When I uploaded my last one, while I was watching the WMV and stuff, I made sure to read Monica's. Like, I paused it and read it all. And it was cool. I liked it. Alright, bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. Ah, oh, man. It's the secret place where I keep all of my dreams, little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's all warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends, each bottle a starlight to make amends. Some friends feel a certain way, down comes a bottle to save the day. Okay. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my finger fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering secrets, hiding in all the nooks and crannies. I love the words nooks and crannies together. Actually cranny is really funny even hearing it on its own. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I almost said scalping and scalping, and that would have taken a dark turn. I blow the dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. That was a nice one, actually. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. What? Oh. Finally all done, I open up, and in my friends come. In they come... In such a... Okay, hang, I think. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull from the shelf, one after another, holding on to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and showers all over the floor. Oh no! They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling, they're all shouting, pleading, something, but all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. Ooh, that took a slightly depressing turn. <laughs> did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? That was really good! I wasn't expecting like th something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. <laughs> it's almost kind of creepy. What? Hold on a minute. That was the part that did... Creepy? Well, not exactly. Just, there's... Oh. Just... Well, never mind. And thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, and so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like. 
I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps my f me understand my own feelings a little better. Writing is like magic. You've got to be pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori always has a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. It better not be. She's the one who kind of pulled us into this situation. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Oh man, Natsuki next. Hmm. Well, I can admit that it's better than the, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. Well, sorry. It's trying too hard to be serious. I swear to God, I've selected the word bubbles for one of those, alright? Bubbles. Bubbles are in no way serious. Well, I guess unless it's like a... Nah, never mind. Bubbles aren't serious. What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's, going... it's just going to sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't try bothered. <clears throat> Don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. You just fought with her yesterday about being so complicated. 